David, uh, first of all, your, your thoughts on the, the comeback? <laughs> yeah, it's a um, pretty crazy, crazy second half, wasn't it? Um, it just goes to show that I sort of, um, you know, the last 10 or 15 minutes when we went 3 0 down, look, you know, looking, looking around, seeing you know, people streaming out, out of the ground and you know all credit to the people that stayed it just goes to show that you know I've never understood why people leave before before the end of the game and you know it's never for lack of effort that we're going to be in you know any position in the game um, and it shows it shows our fight this season and our desire to be you know at minimum in the playoffs and with the chance of going up this season yeah because I, I was scratching my head a little bit at how how we were three 0 down with the, the chances we created because we at, you know, when you're saying looking at 60, 65 minutes, we, we should have been perhaps with two or three up ourselves. Yeah, I mean both teams had, had chances. It's just you know it's just one of those things where a few weeks ago we we were scoring every, almost every chance we got and we missed a couple and got punished for it. And uh, you know the the three goals they they took fairly well. So you know it's it's it's, it's very very encouraging for us to to come back, especially so late in the game. What's in a player's mindset when you you are three 0 down with 15 minutes to go? What what do you have to? What do you think in, inside in terms of trying to get back into the game? Well, predominantly it's 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 about not you know not letting another goal a goal go in. You need to stay solid and stay calm and not not make not go ch sort of chasing it because you end end up being you know you're hurting your goal difference, and which is also important like coming so close to the end of the season. Um, but yeah, it's, it's it's trying to build attacks in in sort of a calm manner and not just sort of lump it forward like hopefully because you know very rarely would you know especially the sort of team that we are are we going to get much joy from that? Make two or three passes, get into good areas, and make good, you know good sensible crosses. We, we'll always get a chance. Um, and then of course you hit one in off the post in in stoppage time, and the, the noise levels rise up rise up around here. And like you said. All credit to the fans that stayed behind and, and got behind the team. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's um, the atmosphere lifted huge. I mean, you know, no no fans in the first half. Our, you know, our fans or theirs had had much to really, you know, be that cheerful about after the first half. It was quite, quite even, quite quiet. There wasn't too many chances either end, and and you know, it just looked like the game was going to drift by. And and they obviously come out the second half, you know, really really fast and and took their chance as well. Um, and you know, again, credit to people that stayed. It's you know we're going to keep going until the final whistle, and and luckily the the chances came for us. Is it kind of a, a metaphor for the the season and how you're going to keep battling until until the end? Because I mean it's very tight up there at the, yeah. the playoffs, isn't it? Yeah, this may you know this may prove to be a huge huge point for us. You know, going going from looking like there's absolutely no chance to. To, to nicking it right at, the, right at the death, the three goals come so late. You just never know, and you know as long as we keep believing, it's it, it's, it's always possible. We didn't go on that run for you know it wasn't it wasn't the luck that we went on that run. We we had the belief that we could do it, and and we need that coming coming towards the, the end of the season. What was the mood like in the change room at the end? It must have felt like a victory. A little bit, a little bit. We we expect it, we expect more from ourselves though in terms of keeping it out. At the other end, we we've leaked too many goals lately, um, and uh, we need to we need to put that right going into the last few games. It's you know we have high standards and and you know they weren't necessarily met today. So we're gonna we're gonna keep training well and training hard and and making sure we we plug those gaps at the back. Mm -hmm.